Hi everyone, this is Core with MiniesGallery.com. In this video, I will be taking a quick look at the Dungeons & Dragons Icons of the Realm pre-painted miniature, the Ancient Red Dragon, Balagos. This miniature is well packaged, containing a styrofoam block encapsulating the entire miniature, and the miniature itself and all of its pieces are in separate plastic bags. There are a total of four pieces for this miniature, the body, the two wings, and the tail. This miniature comes with some black plastic tabs in the wing insert slots to help ensure that the slots do not become deformed during transport. The wing tabs have little clips that are supposed to help secure the wings once fully inserted. However, despite many efforts and a lot of pressure applied, I could not get the wings to click into place. Uh, despite not being fully locked into place, the wings still stay on fairly securely. However, with a little bit of contact, the wings can pop out of the slots and fall off. I suspect once the wings are locked in, they might be very difficult to detach. So if you plan to transport or store the mini, you might not want to fully lock in the wings. The tail magnetically attaches a feature I really like with many of the recent gargantuan size creatures that have been released, uh, but it is a bit of a loose fit. Since the tail does also rest on the base, there really isn't much of a concern about it coming off. This is the second dragon in the Icons of the Realms Ancient Dragon line. These dragons are considered to be gargantuan sized for 5th edition gameplay purposes, However, they are sculpted to be oversized creatures on an 8 inch in diameter base, also known as a colossal base in previous editions. The base contains a 4 inch in diameter white ring to denote a gargantuan sized creature. Sculpt wise, I really like this dragon. It has just a really nice ferocious uh, look to it. Paint job wise, I do have to divide this between two areas. The wings, I think, are done incredibly well for a pre painted miniature. A great use of blending, shading, uh, highlighting, uh, just such a great job done on the wings. Now, given the price point for this miniature, I would have expected the, uh, the chest, the belly, and even the head to have a bit more uh, blending and, and highlighting involved. It just doesn't really pop for me as much as I think it could. And I believe this dragon is officially the tallest D&D pre-painted miniature that WizKids has made uh, to date. It is 18 and a half inches tall and its wingspan is 23 and a half inches wide. To help get a sense of the grand scale of this miniature, I've included a few other miniatures from the D&D Icons of the Realms line and the Pathfinder Battles line. And here's a comparison against the gargantuan size Tiamat. And lastly, here's a comparison against the Colossal Red Dragon from the older Dungeons & Dragons miniatures line by Wizards of the Coast. And the only criticism or feedback that I have for this miniature is I think it's really missing a breath weapon. Again, for the price point that we're paying for this miniature, something really needs to make it stand out and pop. And I think having a detachable breath weapon would really have been beneficial for this miniature. They recently did this with the adult gold dragon, which I thought was a great feature. And I really wish that they would be doing this with the ancient line of dragons as well. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to see more of my quick reviews.